It's like, back in the day there was like, either you're like a big star or you're like a struggling artist. Where nowadays, like independently, you can have this nice middle ground where you can make a really good living owning your music, promoting your own music, doing your own thing. And that's why we do AK-19 Entertainment is my label. Um, so it's just cool. It's like a new, okay. new kind of thing, you know. It's good stuff. Yeah. You, see, when picture. you say that, like you see it, and like it gives, like that is a total sign right there that that's like yeah. you. You know, that's the same with me with music. You know, I was like eight, nine, ten years old, and my uncle played me "No More Tears" by Ozzy, and like the first time I heard it, I was just like, like it just it just stuck with me. And, like I've been obsessed with music ever since that day. So, I love it. It's great. Yeah. So many artists, like even in the hip hop world, I mean, it's just like you always see artists like dying, especially like again. I, I, I watch the hip hop world and other places just because that's what's popular, you know. And I always try to stay up to date, just like the shit that those guys do, like these young 21 year old kids that die constantly yep. from overdoses. Oh my god, it's crazy, man, for real. It is, yeah. So we're with Kyle, <laughs> and um, Kyle's with Black Light District, um, and that's his band, yeah. Uh, and that he is Black Light District. Yeah, and uh, tell me a little bit about what you got, what got you started. Well, it's kind of like I was a young kid, you know, um, not to bring the mood down or anything, but like I lost my mom at a real young age, so um, that's something that kind of like nine or something. Yeah, I was like eight or nine around there, and music was kind of the thing that like made me like really I could escape like as cliche as that sounds, you know. But like at a young age, I kind of needed something like that. And as I mentioned before we went on, like here in Ozzy, No More Tears, like it just got to me and it literally changed my life. Literally, I've been obsessed with music ever since. And still to this day, it's like my escape, I guess, for lack of a better term, you know? All right. I yeah. mean, it's a healthy escape. For sure, for sure. Because there's a lot more escapes that aren't yep. healthy. I, I've been down a few of those roads a few times, you know, and never ends up well. You know no, what I'm saying? So, it doesn't. Yeah, I'm actually grateful uh, to be in the space I'm in right now. Um, clear-headed. Um, I haven't drank in like a year and a half, not one drop. Um, and o other years. things like that too. I've got 10 years myself. Oh, really? Yeah. Dude, congratulations. Man. Yeah. That's amazing. That's a, wow. you know, it's a good yeah. thing. Dude, that, see what's cool is that that actually inspires me. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like knowing that other people go through the same struggle, yeah, so absolutely. to speak. You know what I'm saying? Like it actually helps. My tour manager's the same way. Like we try to keep this tour like sober now. Tommy Beck you know? from Fabulous and I are like three days apart on our tour. Really? Days. Yeah, no he's shit. like the 18th of, of May and I'm the 15th oh, of May wow. of 2009. No so. shit. Wow. Yeah. Dude, that's amazing. Man. It is. That's, and again, you know, I've seen and known and just so many people I could go on and on with, again, deaths or this or that and things like you can get caught up in those worlds, whether it's booze or anything, yep. you know what I'm saying? And anything can, yep, be, so, can be, can take over. Yep, so every day, and I'm sure you feel the same, like to me, every day it's like if I'm here doing my thing, like I'm out here chasing my dream and doing the grind and stuff and doing it clear-headed, like it makes me feel more focused and more like, you know, I'm going to make all this matter, you know what I'm saying? So tell me a little bit about Sold Out. Well, Sold Out was a project, so we I had this song called Me Against the World. Um, and then it started getting a lot of airplay on Sirius XM Octane, which is like okay. the big rock channel. Um, and that's pretty much the biggest station, like in terms of airplay nowadays. Um, so they started playing it, and it was almost like, well, shit, I'm getting all this airplay, I need to get a project out. And again, like I said earlier, I'm always working on music, so just kind of put like seven, eight songs together and put out a project to kind of roll with that single. Right. Um, so there was a reason, like I joked earlier, it was like, it's like a mixtape or, or a project or something. They're all really the same nowadays. It's just kind of like, this one was just kind of thrown together. Um, not that the music's just fast, you know, but it's just like, put this project out at this time to ride this wave. Right. Um, and then like, you know, again, after that, I'm back in like right now, four or five songs into the next project. So you're not going to treat us like Maynard does and make us wait no, for no, a no, no. for music? No, <laughs> no, I don't think I could do that. Again, kind of like we said too before we started here is like, you know, with streaming and all this kind of stuff nowadays, it's so quick. My audience is so young. Um, it's kids. Um, YouTube, like, it's just like, there's a whole separate world that like, if you don't know that world, 
you know what I mean? It's it's kind of it's interesting. Though, Absolutely. Well, yeah. it's all about instant gratification. People oh, want what they sure. want. They want it now. Yep. It's now. just the culture that we've got yep. now. Hundred percent. And that's all right. Yeah, that's all right. Actually, my I have a few albums ago was called Instant Gratification. Okay. Pretty much the same reason. But again, you know, like some of the best way to keep your audience engaged. So I just hit the hundred thousand subscribers on YouTube, which for Amazing. me is a big deal. Like it's a big accomplishment. I was chasing that for a couple of years. So you get the plaque, the silver play button. Uh, I was about a month and a half ago, already 10,000 new since then. So again, to just have kind of this platform that I've built, you know, of course I've had help with radio and this and that promotion, um, but to have an audience that's so passionate and obsessed with this music, I mean, if I were to show you my DMs, bro, like for real, like people saying, you saved my life or this music helps me get out of this or this, right. like to me, that is the best feeling above any money or notoriety that comes along with this to a degree. That's what I care about. I get it. If it's connecting. One, if we can save one person, yep. if we can help one person yep. get through anything, it makes life worth it. The same way I just mentioned going, like, loving Ozzy, and that was my escape. If my music could be that for some 10, 11, 12-year-old kid that's out there, like, I would. You know what I'm saying? God bucks. Dude, for real. It's a real, it's real. real deal. Yeah. It's real shit. Yeah. And then so, like, 2018, I dropped this song called Cold as Ice. Had it out for about six months. Um, and it did pretty well just by itself getting traction. And then I partnered with this YouTube channel who does Minecraft videos. So okay. he makes, like, from scratch, like, Minecraft animations. And basically, this song, like, went viral. Got, like, four million views the first week. It was trending worldwide on YouTube in, like, the top 30. So, like, right under Katy Perry at the right, VMAs right, right, before right. we're trending. And I was just like, I can't believe this is happening. That's when, like, again, Octane picked it up, played it over 500 times. And then it, it was, like, the first time I actually saw an explosion. The subscribers, like, everything. The, the first streaming. Bus, the first yeah. push. Yep. Gotcha. The first, like, gotcha. where it was, like... Damn, That's you know awesome, what I'm saying? And like, awesome. ever since that happened, we've done multiple videos like that, and I do a lot of different promotion with different YouTube channels, and it's just like we've had quite a few songs now that just like blow up like that, and I'm grateful. Like I said, I'd like to be able to do what I do. And so, um, AK19 is your label. AK19 is the label. So basically, all the music that I put out goes through that. Roman, who also plays with me here, he has his own music, okay. and he's out through that. I have another artist named Rob Shiner. Okay. I've probably got him a quarter million streams, but again. Like, you'd be surprised the multi-platinum bands that hire me, like, to promote their music because of how I have YouTube, Spotify, I have relationships with channels, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, Absolutely. so, a lot of acts, a lot of acts will hire me on to do that kind of stuff. Um, so, again, like, it just kind of made sense, everyone said you should kind of have your own label. Um, and this way it gives you more control. Um, and again, I mean, it's 2020, I mean, I, unless someone's giving you a million, million dollars up front, I don't see any reason to say you know what I'm saying? So, okay. Yeah. But again, it, it looks like you got a clear vision for where you're going. Absolutely. You know, if it, if it got to that point, I'd be obviously more than happy to look and check it out. And that would be awesome too. But again, like I said earlier, like if, if I can go out making legit fans and making a connection with an audience that is connected to the music, that's all I care about at the end of the day. So Zoltan showed up and was like, you know, and, and, and said, hey, there, you'd, have to have, you'd, have, you'd have to have that consideration and that conversation. I would definitely have to consider that. Absolutely. Um, I actually sent Zoltan a DM on Instagram a few months okay. ago. Okay. That he didn't respond to. Uh, but uh, again, there, see, there again, like, I will reach out to people. Um, it got easier after I just got verified on Twitter. I got absolutely. the blue check mark now, so now more people will respond to my DMs. There you go. But uh, I'm kind of joking. But not really. <laughs> You'd be surprised how many more people answer you with that check mark. Okay. But uh, no, man, again, just like reaching out, finding anyone that has opportunities, you know, because I'm a hard worker. I'm ready to grind it out. Like, I've obviously proved myself to my audience that, look, like, we have a, a movement, we like to call it online and stuff like that, and I think it's ready to go. You know what I'm saying? For example, Jay-Z's manager will be here tonight in like 10 minutes because he wants to meet me um, and he's heard about again just when, when people can spread this story it's just an amazing thing like and at the end of the day I'm grateful to be able to do that. so what's the one must have while you're on tour must have um, well I gotta have my I have a chest bag okay. it's like a, a little bag like a fanny pack you basically wear around your chest. Okay. And for traveling, um, to keep like my phone, maybe like my charger, my headphones, whatever else you need that's close, I gotta have a bag. Okay. Like a personal bag. A personal bag. Yeah. yeah. So you had the vehicle broken into yeah. twice. Oh you know? my god, I know. Yeah, two times, so. so yeah. But nice. again, at the end of the day, like just to be able to come here, the fact that I'm sitting here talking with you guys, and again, shout out to you guys for coming out, like I appreciate it. I'm all about like people helping each other, independent scene, like that's how we thrive, you know, so it's, it's all killer. about, yeah. you know, what we can do to help each other out Absolutely. because 
we're all in this together. Yep. 100%. We're all we're all on this planet. We're all circling this earth. We're all circling the same sun. It's you know, it, it's it's not about tearing each other down, and no. it's all about building each other up. There's enough of that already in the world. That's how I look at it. It's like, bro, there's so much like hatred and negativity out there that God, there's so much divisiveness. For sure, Rick from Adelita's Way is a great example of someone who says like, I'm out here to use my platforms to spread positivity and love and joy. I'm all about that. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's why I'm into this. I love the way we tour, the relationship we have with those guys. Like, it just works out good, man. Like, it's awesome. Again, for me, it doesn't matter if it's five people, 50 people, 5,000 people. Like, if I'm playing in front of an audience, just the fact that I'm here in Arizona right now, I get to perform my music in front of an audience, like, I couldn't be happier. Like, I've made it in my head. You know what I'm saying? Yep, absolutely. Like, in terms of... If I can get one person off and uh, exactly. one person through, then, yep. it, then it makes the night worthwhile. Absolutely. So, Absolutely. Totally you crazy. know, again, going back to, like, in my life. So I said earlier, like, I my mom passed away at a, at a young age, you know, from a heroin overdose. And then three years ago, my father killed himself with kind of the same means. And so... We lost this, our son. Oh, really? Three years ago. It's oh, in February. Sorry to hear yeah. that. Damn, that's got to be brutal. You know? And it's like, you know, so... In my life, it, it's always felt like a constant nightmare that's like never ended. And like when you think some time is over or some piece of your history is over, then something can like come back and like almost repeat itself. And it's just like so to me, like the message is to like that's why I do the music because again, like being an escape. I'm not trying to say the same things over and over, but like being an escape or whatever it is to you. Like to me, I feel like that is my purpose to do this because I have a story to tell and people can Absolutely. relate to that story. And if again, if if it's like if someone gets in there is like, wow, like I feel this too. Like to me, that is the most important thing. You know what I'm saying? Um, so my goal and what I tell my fans when I do my live streams and they're there to support, like I, I can't say enough how my fan base is so supportive. And I always tell them like, follow your fucking dreams. Like if that's what you want to do, like don't let anyone tell you no. Like you can do whatever you want in this life. You know what I'm saying? And I wouldn't, I wouldn't, you know, you only get one life as we all know. Get one. So it's like, you know what, do what you want. I couldn't imagine not doing this right now. Right. You know, like to me, I don't know, I don't know what I would do. You know what I'm saying? Like for real. I appreciate, real, so. I appreciate yeah. you being here. I appreciate you giving us the time. Yeah, yeah. That's it. Shit. So again, this is Kyle with Blacklight District. Yep. And uh, he's uh, hails from South Dakota, and he's just out here on tour with Adelita's Way. Yep. And uh, how many how many city tours this one? Uh, this is 16. 16. Yeah, we did uh, a few months ago. We did I think 24 cities. This one's 16, and then we'll be actually back out with Adelita's Way and a couple of other acts in March and April. So we kind of have like a like a good six months to like 10, you know, six months to a year, kind of like booked and planned out. And again, just trying to chase opportunities. Again, making friends, making relationships, working with people, and all of us trying to go out there and spread our message. Appreciate it, dude. Thank you, man.